Hey people, Frank Cement here. Uh, this video is going to be on the cleats, making them. Uh, so far I got a, all of them made. Uh, I'll show you how to do it in the video. Measurements change. Please make a note. Uh, I'll mention the new measurements in the videos. And how to make the jigs. Okay. Okay, for this part, I'm making the pitchfork part of the cleats. That part needs to be a certain length. That's what this jig is. It's basically a, a black pipe. Half inch square piece of tubing welded to the tip. And then a steel rod going through a hole at a specific point. That specific point is measured so when you drop the quarter inch steel rod down into it it'll stop on this rod every time you'll see the excess amount that needs to be chopped off kinda hard to see in the dark it's like 10 o'clock at night so the part that's sticking out I take a pair of bolt cutters the square tubing won't fit in the jaws, but the steel rod will, so I don't have to worry about messing up the jig, and just snip it. When I get done snipping it, it'll be the exact length that I need it. I'll put the camera down and do it real quick. Okay, when you look at it after you cut it, you know there's a little little dink sticking out. That's how you know you did it right. Pull it out, lay it in a box, lined up with the rest of them so you know you did it right. When you look at the box, I see I did a shitload of them already. <laughs> I need like four or five hundred of them. barely see it's dark out but yeah that's what I've been doing so far uh, next step is bending them into a, a pitchfork two prong pitchfork and I'll show how to make that jig I'll be back okay I'm back I got done doing most of the pitchforks for the cleats let me show you. Whole box full. It's about 288. I got 10 more to do. Total will be 298. The length for making the part, the pitchfork has changed from 6 inches to 5 and a quarter. That'll give me enough parts for 149 plates. Uh, the center cleat measurement has changed also on the materials list. I wrote down 6 inches and I just needed 4 inches. So make a note of that. For the jig, to make these, the U shaped cleat part, I made a plate. Check out the plate. Uh, I drilled four holes and put four pins in it. The center of it has a, a plate to raise the bar stock so the tool can come in there and not jam up. So it's actually an eighth of an inch high off the plate. I welded a nut in place for the hold down to hold the rod with the T-handle. Screw it into place. I made marks on the plate and on the table to help move things along. Uh, the marks here center the rod in place. 
this mark on the hold down lets me know this part goes over the rod and there's a piece of rod welded to the plate in the back so it'll teeter totter so I can get the steel rod in place without the hold down clamp getting in the way and these marks are for the bends after I make the bend I make sure they're in between these marks and then these marks on the inside I can't pass so the end result would be the rod would be right in between those so how I do it is tighten it down all the way the steel rod is in place take my tool it's just a piece of tube welded to another tube bring it in I don't want to pass that first mark because it takes room to make the bend and if I go all the way in it'll pull the rod out of its place so I start on the outside line I make the bend now it's in between the two lines I have two dimes that I place underneath it and the rod sits on the two dimes now when I make this bend the two dimes hold this side in place at a certain height to where when I bend the two rods they're even if I didn't have the two dimes in place this rod would be lower and the U would have a wobble to it so it brings it up and holds it in place so I'll make the second bend if I could do it with one hand slide it in there, don't go past the line bend it and if you notice they're both in between the lines and the plate. That rod's finished. Move the clamp out of the way to make sure it's not wobbling. Lay it on a flat surface, which is a table, and just see if it'll wobble. If it's staying flat, then that's good. Nine more. Okay, I made a, another one. I'll show you what happens when I didn't use the dimes. If you could see, I don't know. They're going like that. So, you could tell by putting it on the table, seeing how it, it wobbles, this end's raising up. So, this side of the fork's higher. And how to fix that? See if I can do it with one hand, <laughs> chasing it around on the table. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> try it this way. Okay, I got it in the in the bar. I'm jamming it in between the table, and I'm just giving a little tweak. gone. Okay. <coughs> okay, this jig worked pretty good. I got all these done. It took two weeks. Two weeks was not bending these. It took about a week, a couple times during the weekday, and then today.
to finish these. And if you notice, I'll pick three up, lay them on the table, top of each other. And you can notice they're all identical. So the jig worked pretty good. And these parts will fit on the two inch square flat plate for the tire riding on. The tire will ride on top. Two inches would be on the curve, the highest point of this curve. And it will be a two inch square. Okay, let me show you how. I got this thing strapped to the table real quick. I got four wood screws. Uh, the holes are beveled. The plates like uh, 3 16 to quarter inch thick plates. So I got plenty of thickness to put a bevel in there for the heads of the screws to fit flat with the surface of the plate on top. So I got four wood screws. Take them out. and to keep the screws tight to the table and to hold it more sturdy I have pins in there I drill two holes you notice this hole and there's a hole over here right there I got pins sticking out of the table just quarter inch pins same steel rod for the cleats got one there, one there, I drill the hole in the table to hold the cleats. They're just sitting in there. I don't know if I can pull them out. I didn't drill a hole all the way through because I didn't want the pins to fall out. There we go. It's a little pin. Well, you get the idea. That keeps the plate from twisting when I was bending the tubes. Okay. Okay, you got any questions on this part? These are the track cleats. I'll upload this video and the next video will be uh, cutting up all the plates. Okay, thanks a minute. Bye.